I will not. Hey guys, just before we all get away, um, I'd like to show the Scory School playoffs. So the winners for the best stories. And um, if you wouldn't mind, in addition to being crowned the winner, if you want to come up and tell us, you know, what's the one thing that you took away from the Story School today, that would be incredibly beneficial to everybody here. So without further ado, um, we'll get to the first winner, which is Felicia. <laughs> Um, best overall use of story school tips. So she posted about, I don't know how many, like five or six of them that you did in a row. All great things. Um, wouldn't you come up here and grab a prize? Woo! <laughs> and if you wouldn't mind, um, what's one thing that you took away from story school today? Um, one thing I took away from story school, I actually didn't know about the period underscore underscore box thing. So I'll definitely be using that. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Oh, your tip. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, so you can actually, you can see right there, I made um, a sticker. You can make your own stickers by just going to your camera roll. So if you have a background image on your Instagram story, if you go to your camera roll and press copy, a uh, sticker will automatically pop up. So you can make your own uh, stickers. You can also download like a PNG cropper so that you can like crop people's heads out or like I did here, crop out the background so that it was just him sitting on the chair. Thank you. All right, who do we got next? Lena El Saadi. Best use of early 2000s Disney brand assets. Uh, just, I wanna show you how cool this is. one thing that you learned that you didn't know before this? Um, I guess I learned how to do the rainbow thing. Um, I play a lot with the, the stories, so like I knew a lot of the stuff coming into it, but I didn't know about the rainbow text thing, so that was really fun. Everybody loves the rainbow text. It's a showstopper everywhere we present. Um, next up is Sam. Best use of front-facing camera. What's one thing that you uh, learned out of story school? Um, it just kind of just put me more in a mindset of just being creative and every little thing can be just a creative endeavor. So that's awesome. Congrats, man. Um, moving right along, Parisian, best use of Giphy. Uh, come on up. Now, what's one thing you took from story school that you'll uh, take back with you today? Definitely get a little more creative with my stories overall, because it's usually just like written things, now I will do all this. Yeah. Awesome. Congrats. And then finally, um, best use of sheer honesty. If you look in the top here, this is for prize, please don't hate me. <laughs> um, gifts all over the place, text everywhere. Uh, Gbot, why don't you come up and get your prize? <laughs> So all of that, really, I don't use stories very often, but the underscore within the boxes as well as being able to actually stack the text on top of each other is something I'm gonna use religiously. And also putting that disclaimer didn't help me at all with my followers, I'm still looking through confused messages on it. <laughs> awesome, thank you. So I'm gonna hand it over to Mark for final thoughts and then uh, we'll get to enjoy a little bit of happy hour. Thanks guys. All right, uh, so thanks everyone for braving weather, braving a one day school strike, all that kind of stuff to come here and join us today. Uh, as we talked about at the start, the goal was to get people in the room who do the same thing, who are trying to accomplish the same things, who can inspire each other. And so I hope we accomplish that. Um, actually, I'll need the clicker, where did that go? So uh, some thoughts on what we heard today. First of all, there's a lot of talk about uh, I think there's a couple more after this, right? No? Uh, can, you grab, where's, can you grab Ben? So we got to get the, the survey and that stuff. Uh, okay. So transparency and authenticity. So uh, 
both with your audience and also internally in terms of your own process. So we heard that in the news discussion this morning, not just like be authentic in your brand and your voice, but be authentic and, let, and everybody should be on the same page internally with what you're trying to do. Because it's really important for everybody to be rowing in the same direction, to understand the subtleties of doing branded content, what's the tone of that, all that kind of stuff. So transparency is huge. Uh, I love what Rafe said. We run a content company like a software company. Uh, I love that from two perspectives. So first of all, the use of data and, and those kinds of insights to drive decisions. So to drive decisions about how to think editorially, to drive decisions about what to tackle. But then also, uh, the idea of looking to other industries. So a content company might not always think about running itself like a software company. So that kind of thing, that cross-pollination of what people are doing over here might be relevant to what your goals are. So always look to model across places that are relevant like that. Uh, obviously, focusing on audience. So uh, I love Jocelyn's comment, you're not making content for you to watch, right? So that whole constancy of uh, the truth uh, of knowing your audience, the truth of knowing who you're talking to. But then also the piece, and that's you know, as old as time. Rob and I were talking about that's how magazines were, uh, you know, were, were running in the 50s. Luckily, I wasn't there personally to witness that. But uh, the new piece is the engagement piece, right? We heard a lot of that kind of talk with, with people here. It's not just broadcast out, but have a conversation with your audience. And that's how you build loyalty. That's how you build engagement. You don't have to shush people. It's okay. Um, the fourth thing, embrace failure, face accountability, be the problem solver, and be the bridge. Uh, we probably could have just had Brooks come back up here and give us more insights. That was amazing. Um, but I loved her quote about the byproduct of solving a problem is building a brand. So we do that in some ways every day in our life. I just love the intentionality that she brought to that. And that's an intentionality towards that that you can bring to, to your voice and your brand as well. And then lastly, uh, everybody's still trying to figure this out. You know, we talked, uh, there was a lot of talk in the last panel about the pace of change. The pace of change, you know, as uh, in the panel before that, Goldcast were talking about how the stuff they were doing two months ago, they think is stale and is old, and they have to adapt that. That is a lot of demand on people that are producing content, people that are building brands, but that's also kind of the reality of once you poke through, how do you stay ahead uh, of the crowd as well? And Director X saying the pace of change is only getting faster, which is true. Uh, there's more and more platforms to participate in. I feel, it's funny, I feel kind of guilty when I talk to partners because Every single one of these platforms is unique in its own way. And so we're asking people collectively as an industry to do a lot, to adapt in some ways to us and the audiences that we have. Um, so we talk a lot to our partners about just making sure you're in the places that are going to create an impact. Uh, and just staying on top of that change. Because what that speed of change does is it creates space and it creates opportunity. And it's in that space and that opportunity that you're going to start to find your audience, that you're going to start to build your business. So, uh, I hope everybody had uh, a good time today. Uh, there's a couple things that, I hope it's on the next slides. No. Um, so, Ben's coming up to rescue me. Uh, so there's uh, some resources we want to expose you to. And then very importantly, thank you for being here. This is the first time that we've done this. We've got a lot to learn. So there's a survey that hopefully Ben can get in everybody's hands. Uh, we're going to lock the door until everybody answers the survey. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but please answer, answer the survey. We want this to be something that we do on a regular basis, uh, something that the MZ uh, Ryerson picks up. You know, we'll always have, have partners like Six Buzz, ourselves participating. But let us know what went well. Let us know where, uh, where the day dragged, what was the most interesting thing, because we need to learn that from you. So Ben's going to tell us how to get there. Hey, you guys. Thanks for coming. My name is Benjamin Wagner. I work with um, Mark and the Facebook team. I work around the world doing programs like this. And what DMZ and, and Mark and team have done here is really unique. Um, it's something Facebook hasn't done before. And we hope to do not only here again, but around the world. Um, but in order for us to do that, we really do need to hear from you in terms of areas of improvement, one of which might be, hey, put the survey link on a slide so we can actually know what it is. But instead, I'm going to tell you what it is and then we're going to email it to you. But please, if you could, stay put for just one minute. It's a quickie. And bang through it, and then gra go grab yourself a drink in the back. I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'll tell you a couple more things. It's bit.ly slash media showcase 2019. Piece of cake, all words you know how to spell, right? B-I-T dot L-Y slash media showcase 2019. I don't see a lot of people going to it over here. Big props. Um, if you won a prize and you don't fill it out, you're in deep shit. I kid, I kid. Um, thank you. It's um, bit.ly slash media showcase 2019. 
there are also some resources. A lot of people were asking, for example, where they can learn Story School um, or where they can share it with others. There are two resources. They're printed, um, sorry, and there's screens in the back there if you want to take a photo on your way out. Facebookjournalismproject.com, all one thing, all one URL, has tons of resources, including video of Story School. Unfortunately, not presented by Mark, but presented by our news lead, a woman named Lila King um, in New York. You'll find that and a ton of other resources there on engaging communities, on building brand, on a lot of the stuff we talked about today, um, both Facebook and Instagram specific, but also platform agnostic as we did today. So that's facebookjournalismproject.com. The other resource you might be interested in if you want to take some additional curricula, actual courses that will get you a pointer certificate, which is a journalism institution down in Florida. Um, we have a blueprint course that's at facebookblueprint.com. Pretty simple stuff. So check those out. Those links are in on the back wall. Once again, if you don't mind surveying, that'd be super cool. Um, it's bit.ly slash media showcase 2019. So spend an extra minute. Thanks to everybody who came and uh, beers in the back. Mark, final words? Oh, come on, I can't have final word. Well, I will say this. I've wanted to come to Toronto to work with Mark um, for as long as I've known Mark, which is three plus years. And I've also been, I just want to shout out to our friends at Six Buzz and our friends at DMZ who have uh, absolutely been um, invaluable um, partners in assembling what hopefully was a really cool day for you guys. So I hope you got a lot. I hope you go to Bitly. I know you did. I saw you doing it. Thank you very much. Um, Bitly Media Showcase 2019. Seat the beers in the back. Woo!